to episode 21 of the F1 to my team Cream World and today it is the Sao Paulo Grand Prix in Brazil. So in the last episode I finished P6 in Mexico and then that brings my points up to 36 and in the constructors we have 61 points. So let's protect some more stuff for the aerodynamics and it looks like I can't really upgrade much else at the moment so that's how I'm going to speed forward time I'll just do accept so yeah Communicating with online servers. So, I'll do that upgrade for the power train. And we are above McLaren and we are performance and just under Red Bull. And Sebastian Vettel is also retiring from the sport along with Fernando Alonso. So that will be two retirements as we um, are about to go into qualifying for the Sao Paulo Grand Prix. Now I'm just about to start qualifying for the Sao Paulo Grand Prix here in Interlagos at Brazil. So I'm going to break going into turn one. I'm going to speed back up again as a accidentally cut the corner so we have dropped down to a PL of 14 I think I'm quite good at this track so I should get a decent qualifying I think hopefully so Carlos Sainz is on for professional pool here at Interlagos And hopefully I can gain, gain some places in the sprint race just after this qualifying. So, yeah, I'm thinking he'll be starting P11 here at Interlagos for the sprint race. Yep, and Carol Sainz is on pole position. However, he might lose that pole position um, in the sprint race if he has any problems with his car or if he gets overtaken. So here is the grid for the sprint race. So it signs. Then for staff and look clear as your Hamilton Norris, Button, Ricardo, Perez, Alonso, Me, Bottas, Ocon, Gasly, Schumacher, Albon, Magnus and Vettel, Snowder. Piastri, Stroll, and then Latifi in last. So let's get into the qualifying, not into the sprint race. I mean. I'm now about to start the sprint race, and it looks like it's going to be a wet sprint race here at Interlagos. It's the five red lights for the sprint race here in Sao Paulo, and it's lights out, and away we go. We get a bad start from the line, getting overtaken by Bottas, Nocon, and Schumacher. And when we go down the inside of turn 1, taking our example and with us, we go um, down into P13, up into P12, by getting the overtake on Valtteri Bottas. Carol Sainz has got a brilliant start from the lead. Schumach is battling with Bottas, um, and as Bottas is getting the overtake, and as I'm, I am ahead of um, them and I go down inside of Perez and Ocon and get a double overtake. So let me show a replay of that. So I'm yeah, going down inside of the two of them. So... 
I'm now getting the update on Fernando Alonso. You're on lap 1 out of 6. Alonso was looking to get me gain that overtake for P9. Me on board with Fernando Alonso as he's been able to get the overtake on me on the straight. And Perez has got in the overtake, however, I'm going to go down the inside of Sergio Perez and regain that overtake. As Esteban Ocon's pattern with Mick Schumacher and Schumacher stays ahead of Ocon. So Carlos Sainz almost two seconds ahead of Max Verstappen's Red Bull. You won the belt right with you. Um, Ocon was battling with Alex Albon there. Now I think things are starting to calm down a bit. So, yeah, let's go on board with Sergio Perez's Red Bull as he goes down inside of me and does not get the overtake. Now I'll make sure I can get the overtake on um, Sergio Perez. Yes, he will. Maybe one actually, as Perez stays ahead, but now I'm at Schumacher stays ahead. And they go side by side, and Schumacher is staying ahead at the moment. However, Perez is looking to regain that position going into the corner. Schumacher is still ahead. And I think that's the end of that battle. Up five, here at Interlagos. Perez has just gotten the overtake on me. As he now just go on to the final lap of the sprint race. As I go down the inside of Perez. Make contact with him and regain the position. As he won a bit right and go off the track. So let's go on board with Sergio Perez, who has the DRS. So, will he get the uptake on me in qualify pier 10 for the sprint race, or for the feature race, or the main race, or whatever you call it in Formula 1, um, and start 10th or will I keep my 10th position? So Esteban Ocon also behind um, Perez as I'm going, don't know where I'm going, as I want a bit wide. And we go on to the final sector of the track and the final three corners of the track. As we cross the finish line and we defend against Bottas. And we finish P10. So let's see a replay of that. So, yeah, we are having a battle with Perez up to the line. And we stayed ahead. So yeah, so yeah let's see what happens in the future race later on this episode. So, Jameson Button got one point in the sprint race. With Carlos Sainz winning it. And Ganyajou got on podium for the sprint race. So, um, let's get into the feature race. We are now about to start the main race of the episode here at Interlagos. So, it's the five red lights here in Sao Paulo. And that's... Lights out and away we go. We get a decent start off the line. However, we get overtaken by Sergio Perez. And Carlos Sainz has dropped down the grid. So let's wait, so what happened there? Um, 
I do not know what happened with Carlos Sainz. So yeah, I'm um, able to get Neil to Con Hamilton possibly. No, actually. I'm still behind. And um Jensen Button's battling with Carlos Sainz for P six and Joe Ganyu is up into P three. We were all trying to get you over to Con Lewis Hamilton there, but we did not get it. However, will we get it going into that corner? Yes, we will. As you want a bit right. Um, just going through a bunch of different camera options. And we are on board with the Mercedes of Lewis Hamilton. Um, going into the last sector and onto lap two. So Lewis Hamilton's looking for the overtake. So will he get the overtake? No, he won't. And Lando Norris is dropping down the grid because he has gone to the pits. However, Perez is battling with Hamilton. And Hamilton stays ahead of Sergio Perez. Well, will Sergio Perez get the overtake going into the corner. No, he won't. And Lando Norris is down in last. As Max Verstappen leads the race here at Interlagos. And Daniel Ricciardo is up in the podium. So who could he get a podium this race? And Piastri is up into P12. And um, I think we ran a bit right there. Since we are behind the Ferrari of Carlos Sainz, who is um, behind James and Mutton. And we are back on board with Lewis Hamilton, going up into lap 3. As he is looking for the overtake, however, will he get it? Going side by side with me. And we stay ahead. Going on to lap 3. As we go and we cover to the fend against the Hamilton. And um, Paris gets the overtake on Hamilton. Here on lap 3. And Paris is looking for an overtake on me. Also. So oh, yeah, exciting race so far here at Brazil. And also make sure you go check out last episode in Mexico. And then hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to upload the season finale in Abu Dhabi. So Sergio Perez is going to get the overtake on me. Or possibly. So Perez has gotten the overtake on me, however I'm going to go down inside, make contact with him, and me gain the position. Here on lap 4, as Perez, or I ran a bit right, and Perez is getting the overtake on me. So the slow Hamilton, Perez runs a bit right, and we stay ahead, and Esteban Ocon got the overtake on Hamilton, Hamilton's Battling with Ocon. What's going on here at Brazil? So lap 7. And we are in the pits. For our first and only pit stop of the race. So hopefully we will have a good pit stop. Yes we will. And um, I don't know what time that was. But yeah. And Sean Ganyu wins the race in P1. And Jensen Button is up into P2. As we come out of the pit stops. Well, out of the pit stop. Here on lap 8 out of 18. So nothing much has really happened 
a whole lot since uh, the lap 4 stuff. Well, since lap 4 and everything before that. So, yeah, I think this season finale will be a good race. And Sergio Perez looks like he's gone into the pit lane. And Mick Schumacher is up into P2. And Alex Albon's in P3. Imagine if this ended up being the podium for the race. Sure, can you have to win and then Schumacher with an album? So, yeah, we come out ahead of Perez and I thought I was going to say Lando, but we were always ahead of him. So, yeah, nothing that exciting yet oh, in the past five ish laps. Lap 10. We are on board with Lando Norris, says McLaren, who's caught up to me a lot. And will he get the overtake on me this lap and before the end of lap 10 with 8 laps left of the race? Maybe. So... Yolando Norris um, surprisingly got a win in the United States Grand Prix in Austin a couple of episodes ago where Paris got that disqualification. And Sean can you still in the race and then Schumacher can now win in second and third. So yeah. No, so I have the DRS to try and catch up to me. And I think that's Nicholas Latifi going into the pit lane. And that was Lando Norris looking for an overtake, but he did not get the overtake. Or oh, will he get it going into the next corner? Here on lap 11. So we go off to cover off Lando Norris as he goes down the inside. I know he get the overtake. No, he won't. So yeah, um, Lando Norris still catching up to me, and has McLaren. So hopefully he'll stay behind me. Lap sixteen, Perez is going down the inside of us, and is looking to get that overtake. As we go off track a lot. However, Perez is catching up to us. And will he get the overtake? No, he won't. We have a few laps left off the race. Alonso just got the overtake on Lando Norris. Perez still looking for that overtake on me. And Ocon behind Lando Norris. I've never seen this camera angle much. So, Perry is looking for an overtake, but he does not get it. He makes contact with us. So, you know what happened there? Yeah, it looks like I either big early or he misjudged. And then, yeah, so... Uh, who would you guys see that from? Um, so yeah, Perry's back ahead of me, however that won't be for long. As I'm battling with Fernando Alonso, um, whoops, for P so I'll just do that again. Um. For P8, which will help us out in the Constructors and Drivers Championship as we are on the second last lap of the race and we make contact as no ones will make contact. So let's see that. There's the contact. Yep. So. 
more chaotic stuff going on here in Brazil. Um, so let's go back on board with Norris. And my sees battling with Alonso for P10. And Alonso wants a bit right. Touches because Grass and we won extremely right. So let's see what happened there. You might have touched the grass and then ran that bit right. So yeah, we are on board with Lando Norris as McLaren. So we're going to go into this view. Um, as Lando Norris gets the other can we make contact and we make big contact. And we've crashed into Mick Schumacher. We pull over to retire from the race. So let's see a replay of that. Crash. So, and there's the contact. Um, and then that's where we are in the middle of a crash. And then let's go on board of Schumacher and then a crash into Mick Schumacher. Then there's this big pile up. So that was, um, that crash was unexpected to say the least. And a very high speed crash. So yeah, that is us out of the race and we sadly took out Mick Schumacher with us. So yeah, Jensen Button scored 8 points for us in the race. Then here's the grid for the finishing. So yeah, John Canyon got a podium. And I think that was his first podium in F1. Then Ricardo signs Button Hamilton Alonso walk on. Um, Norris Bottas, Piastri Gasly, Sonoda Magnussen Vettel, Perez Stroll Latifi, me and Chumaka, who are Dean Eft, and also I forgot to say Alex Albon Dean Eft due to a mechanical failure earlier on in the race. So it just says plus to laps cause. I don't know why. So, hope you guys enjoyed this episode and goodbye.